not every wedding is a fairy tale wedding. Maybe the mother has passed away. Maybe your father has passed away. That's really what I want to talk about today. Other options that you could have throughout your wedding day and how you can incorporate them into your wedding day. You know, not having your father and mother at your wedding doesn't mean that it cannot be something special, a day of remembrance. Maybe it's remembering them in a special way with what you're bringing to the wedding. You may be thinking to yourself, well, what does this have to do with wedding music? Well, I'm going to talk about that today. The first thing I want to talk about is, you know, how you can incorporate your parents that may be passed on. Maybe it's through divorce. Maybe you don't have a relationship with them anymore. And a great way you can do that is through a song dedication. Now, a song dedication could be incorporated into the wedding ceremony as a memorial. Maybe they have a per, a, a favorite song, but maybe it's not very wedding, you know, quote unquote, wedding appropriate. So there's a lot of instrumental covers. There's a lot of acoustic covers that you could incorporate into your wedding ceremony. Also is a special dedication of that person through song during the reception. Now, I would highly recommend having that during the cocktail hour or even probably more importantly during dinner. It's going to be an emotional time. I'm going to make the assumption that the DJ or the musicians, the bands are going to make an announcement that this is a dedication and it's going to be a very emotional time. So I would really recommend having that during the uh, during the background time. You really don't want to break up the, you know, the flow, the the romance, the fun at any other time. But if you were to do it at another time, maybe at the time of the formal dances. Now that's really want to talk. What I want to talk about next is, okay, let's say you are a bride and your father has passed away and you want to have a special dance. Well, a lot of couples are really choosing to have a mother daughter dance in its place. And that's a great place to start to have your mother step in and have a special mother daughter dance. Another option is if you have a brother to have or brothers to have a brother bride dance, you can also have a sister's dance. Now, all of these song suggestions that I'm, or uh, these dances that I'm recommending, I do have song suggestions on our website for these. So you have the mother-daughter, the sister-brother, the sister dance. But not only that, maybe you have a stepfather that stepped in. So then you could have a stepfather, stepdaughter dance. You know, it doesn't have to be all traditional, you know, you want to make your wedding day special just for you. So make sure that if you want to have or a remembrance, you could have it in a dedication, or you could even have it as a special dance with just another family member could even be your aunt or your uncle. And the same thing goes, like I said, for your mother, it doesn't have to be just for the father it could be the for the mother too. So instead of the groom dancing with his mother, you could have him dancing with his father. You know, whoever has maybe played the, the mother role, maybe your grandmother. So it's a, it doesn't have to be the traditional father, daughter, mother, son dance. It could be other people as well. And you should feel comfortable with that. You know, this is your wedding day. Another thing that you want to consider is how you're going to incorporate a remembrance of those people at your wedding day or on your wedding day. You know, a great thing that we did is we made a special candle and we had a picture of my wife's mother on that candle that we superimpose on that candle and we lit that candle during the ceremony so that way they were re that so that way she was remembered during the wedding ceremony and like she was present you know maybe your father passed away and he has a favorite item maybe it's a watch maybe 
you know, the favorite sports team. So then you're wearing that favorite sports team necklace, you know, maybe it's, uh, um, you're going to incorporate that team as part of your garter, you know, however you're going to incorporate them into your wedding day, I would highly suggest doing that. Another thing is flowers, you know, um, my wife's father passed away and his favorite flower was the sunflower. So maybe you have a sunflower on your centerpieces, you know, just incorporate your special people that have passed on during your wedding day. And lastly, one of the things that I want to cover too is not only flowers, but mementos, like I said, and also wearing something that remembers you of them. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Just the music, the music can reflect, you know, the people that have passed on. It doesn't have to be a traditional wedding. You can have other people that have other people in your life that maybe have filled those roles. Maybe you're dancing with your in-laws, you know, just incorporate those love loss, those loved ones during your wedding day. Thanks for listening and have a great day.